Brent Taylor's story has touched so many people. The father of seven lost his life Saturday, but not his ability to bring good into the world. The messages he left behind lifting people up at a time when they need it most. Major Brent Taylor was destined for success. I always referred to him at a young age as the president. Everybody expected him to do great things wherever it was. But if you think his dream of changing the world died with him in Afghanistan last weekend, you'd be wrong. It's been so nice to hear how he helped other people and how he touched other people because that's something that we can hold on to. Taylor's mother and brother remembering a born leader, describing him as a loving father and husband. He and five of his brothers enlisted after 9-11. Brent earned the Purple Heart and Bronze Star for his service. Back home, Taylor was elected mayor of North Ogden, Utah, when he got the call to return to Afghanistan. On Facebook, he talked about why he was going back. There are ways all around us to brighten someone's day, to lift another's burdens, and to make our city, state, and country a better place. He really felt that he was needed, and he could not say no. Major Taylor helped secure Afghanistan's elections bursting with pride in his last post while reminding Americans of our own responsibilities as citizens, writing in part, I hope everyone back home exercises their precious right to vote, adding, we all remember that we have far more as Americans that unites us than divides us. To his family, that's who Brent was. When difficult things happened in our family, I could count on about 20 minutes after whatever news it was, he would show up at our door to say, Mom, Dad, how are you doing? He was just such a good man. A man who exemplified a life of service. He would say, don't wait for the politicians to do it. Go out and do it yourself. Give a little. Listen a little more. His casket arriving home on the dawn of Election Day. It's uh, our responsibility to now pick up <clears throat> what's been dropped and to carry forward. At a candlelight vigil, his widow Jenny, mother of his seven children, doing just that. Though our hearts are broken, we have no regrets. Carrying his legacy, the hero who sacrificed everything for the country he loved. And Major Taylor's wow. message, so poignant in light of recent events, and really his message that all of us can do better and can do a little more. Amen. Seven kids. Wow. My goodness. 11 months, the youngest. Mm -hmm. Wow. Kristen, thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. This is today on NBC.